Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me Orange here and today some awesome stuff has happened Therefore, I'm making a video also today. We're going to be doing another tutorial. So go ahead and just um, Chill and wait a while or you can skip ahead to the tutorial, but um, I finally reached 1,000 subscribers and um, I wasn't really watching this count until this man on discord has decided to send me a freaking video of him being the 1,000 subscriber so um, shout out to my boy Connor of course uh, for being the 1,000 now um, he has also complained how the keybind animation doesn't work and I've received many reports of this so i am going to go ahead and remake this tutorial so i'll call this roblox scripting tutorial keybind animation updated all right so first things first obviously you want to open up um roblox uh studio now a few things um a few issues is if you're in a group game so you're working in a group then your animations that you own will not work there uh, um if you're working on a friends game your animations will also not work there so it has to be your animation specifically so in this case we are in our own little world where we can create our own animation so i'm going to go ahead uh, and make an animation and show you guys that um you can actually do this all right so um First things first, uh, as you can see, I got a dummy, and you might not know what the hell I just did there. But if you don't have a plugin, go ahead to manage plugins. And to get to this tab, all you gotta do is press plugins up here, and then press manage plugins, and then press find plugins. All right. Now, the current animation editor I am using is down here. It is called the. Um, where is it? Let's see here. Um, roblox animation editor now it's one of these guys and they both work but i recommend taking this one as you can see this one has more sales because it's by roblox this one's by another guy so he's probably made another copy of it but um there is an old one where you could you what which you could use as well i can't exactly remember where it is um i can help by taking a look but um uh, I bet you guys would have probably preferred it if I've actually like used the same editor as you guys. So I'm just going to quickly scan, see if I can find it because um, seems like I can't really find it. Um, let's see here. All oh, right here, right here. So on the third page, uh, if you go to the third page, you will find this called Arthro Classic Animation Editor. I recommend getting this if you are if you like like old animations, go ahead and get this, all right? So after you get this, make sure you also get the first version. This way, um, I'm going to be doing both so that you guys um, know how this is gonna work. If you're using something else like um, Moon Editor, Moon, anim moon Animation Suit or something like that, I have no clue, my bad. Uh, but I actually have no clue how they work so I use the default one now if you get both of them you should have two of the exact same things up here and what you want to do is doesn't matter which one just press the rig builder and then just get the rig you want after you get the rig you want um, you should get like a dummy or something and this is the dummy you're going to be animating on so to prove that this actually works um, I'm going to go ahead and animate this myself um, so to animate what you want to do is press animation editor uh, press the dummy uh, and press select now you might see these thingies don't mind these at all um your screen might be different because i've been doing some other scripting tasks um but yeah so we're going to be animating so for example let's say we wanted to um uh do a dab or something like that uh first things first you're gonna have to animate it and if you don't know how to animate at all then i suggest you looking over some other tutorials because um you're gonna need to know that so um, we're gonna be doing a jump animation. All right, let's just do a jump animation. Or actually, uh, let's do a dab animation. 
All right, so you just go through the time and animate. Now, if you, there are multiple things you can do. Uh, for example, you can change the length to like one second or so, if you wish, and it will make the animation longer. Uh, and then I'll just I'll just do a dab, honestly. Oops. All right. All right. So uh, basically, you just edit things uh, frame by frame to create this animation. Now this is obviously not the best animation because it's been rushed just as an example for you guys. So this is my animation, basically you dab and then uh, I guess you go back to normal. So um, don't mind what I do here, it's not really important here. But uh, basically you just want a animation file. As long as you can get this file, um, you are good. So um, now we got this file, one thing you want to do is before you do anything, press edit, all right, right here, top left, second button, and then go over to set priority. Make sure you press this and press action. Now you might not see this, but like there is a little GUI in the back. It should give you action, movement, idle, core, choose action. This ensures that your animation will play above all others. And after that, you can just export it. So you can export it to group animations. If you do, then the animation obviously will work for the group. Um, so just press create new. So YouTube tutorial, I have, I have one right here. So now that you exported it, um, what you wanna do is get this ID right here. You see this? Uh, see this number right here? You wanna copy that. So just select it, hold your mouse down. Some Cause if you let go, it'll select the entire thing, but just, just select this portion. Hold your mouse, control C, and then you got it. All right, so now you can exit out of this. This is no longer of use uh, because you've already exported the, the animation, meaning that it is now permanently um, saved. Now, what you wanna do is go ahead to um, start a player and start a character scripts. Now, what you wanna do is um, go ahead and add a local script. Now, if you don't, have these two tabs what you can do is go ahead press view up here and then what you want to do is press explorer and properties they're right here all right back to what we were doing after you've inserted this local script there are a few variables you want so i'm gonna start typing and it's gonna get a little loud but follow along so these are a few variables we're going to need if we want to play the animation so So um, now that we got this down, we got the player, which is um, the player uh, yourself. And then we got the character, which is the physical 3D part um, in workspace. Having this is really useful because now um, we can get the humanoid, which is basically um, the animation, uh, just the basically the holder, all right? Think of it as um, the main part. So character.humanoid. Make sure you copy this uh, and it's the exact same. So now what we're going to do is local animation ID equals, this is our animation ID, all right? So with this down, what you wanna do is go to the front, R-B-X-A-S-S-E-T ID, um, the semicolons, and then slash slash. All right, and then you want your number behind it. You wanna make sure this number is actually behind it. And here we got um, the RBX asset ID. Make sure it's the exact same. The number should be back here. Your number should be right here. Do not copy this. I'm going to say this one more time. Do not copy this. Put your number here. Next, what you want to do is user input service. This will detect input. Now we want keybind, meaning that um, we can, uh, what's it called? We can, uh, what's it called? Um, detect what key is being pressed. So, Obviously, you can choose a key, all right? So in this case, key could be R or E. Uh, in this case, we'll go with G to go random. All right, now that we got our key, we're going to do user input service dot input began connect function. All right, this connection will um, run. So anything under here will run when there is some sort of input. And then we're going to do input and is typing. So if is typing, if you are typing, then return n. All right, don't do anything if you're typing because 
the person is typing he doesn't really want to do the animation so like when you're talking to someone through roblox's chat you're typing so um if input dot key code equals enum dot key code key then all right so here we're checking if it's the key we want all right this is the key we want so if it is then local um animation equals instance dot new animation animation dot animation id equals animation id all right so we're setting the animation to this all right local load animation equals anim uh humanoid load animation animation so um first we create an animation object we set the id to the correct one and then we load it into the humanoid and now we just play it and boom it's that simple and that's really all you need now right now it's spammable all right so i'll show you in game right now if we press g the animation will be spammed well if we spam g it will be spammed because there is no debounce a debounce is basically a cooldown which will allow um time between using um the animation now uh just give it a second and all right here we are so if i press g it will play the animation and there you have it that's that's the dab we've created and obviously if i press g as you can see it's spamming and most of you guys don't want that so instead we're gonna add a look another variable local debounce equals true all right with this in, we want to go to line 12, if you're on the exact same line. Uh, go to the end here and type and debounce. Debounce, then. Alright. And then you want to do uh, debounce equals false. Now, we set this debounce to the opposite of the starting one. This is so that this is no longer true. So this is saying if debounce equals true, then and it's true so it will run we set it to false so that if you press it again it's currently false so it won't run um we wait one second debounce equals true so this is a one second cooldown basically one more thing you want to destroy the animation so that you're not creating lag in your game because you're creating all these useless objects that are just being created constantly you just want to destroy it and there you have it this is how you just do um keybind animation and there you go as you can see i have to press one it won't spam anymore it has a one second cooldown and that's really it it's this simple 22 lines we can even decrease that to 20 lines 20 lines is all it takes to create a keybind animation and yeah that's really it for today Thank you guys for subscribing and getting helping me get to 1000. Uh, it's really appreciated. If you have any questions, direct message me on Discord. I'm always online. Or comment down below and I'll get to you. Um, but anyway, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. And comment any tutorials, suggestions you got. And I'll look over them. But again, thank you guys for helping me reach um, my goal. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video.